بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله one of the most difficult things for the believer to confront is purifying his or her intentions in worship. Ikhlas lillah. And as we already know, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as well as following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are the two conditions for the Muslim to have his or her deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first being sincerity to Allah, ikhlas, and the second being mutaba, meaning to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in how he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So regardless of whether this was in prayer, regardless of whether this is in fasting, you have to fast as an act of worship, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and you have to fast in the manner that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did it. And if you fight jihad fi sabilillah for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you go in the cause of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then that has to be in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not in, according to your, in accordance uh, to your desires, meaning that you disregard the rulings of jihad that the ulama of the Salaf of this Ummah have laid down in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the sanctity of life and the criterion and conditions for those great actions of Ibadah and this is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked and this is a hadith regarding the intention so ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam أو سأل رجل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن رجل يقاتل حمية يقاتل شجاعة يقاتل رياء أي ذلك في سبيل الله فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من قاتل لتكون كلمة الله عليا فهو في سبيل الله عز وجل The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked about the man who fights out of bravery or the one who fights out of zeal or the one who fights to show off which one of these is fi sabilillah azza wa jal which one of those types of jihad are for the sake of Allah the almighty the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the one who fights to make the 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 rule or the the kalimatullah ulya whoever whoever fights to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's speech the most high then this is fisi bilillah azza wa jal so the one who makes ta'zeem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who strives and fights for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in real Islamic jihad not chaos not destruction not based upon our desires, then this is Fisa Bililah Azza wa Jal. Ahabatifillah, one of our ulama, Imam Muhammad bin Saleh bin Uthaymeen, was asked, what is the best means that you can guide a person to attain sincerity? Because again, as we said, sincerity in your deeds is very difficult to attain. What is the best means that you can guide a person to attain sincerity and make a person far from everything that will lessen the reward of a person's deeds? He answered, Rahmatullah by saying, the means to be successful for this is to seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan and seeking his assistance in being obedient to him. And a person should not pay attention to the whispering that the shaitan puts in his heart. For the shaitan 
whispers to ruin his worship and his willpower, encouraging him to throw it behind his back. He should not pay attention to it, and maybe he will find difficulty in correcting his intention. However, if he is persistent and patient, then a great reward is with the pious. Some of the Salaf used to say, I did not struggle in anything greater than my striving to attain sincerity. However, that is success. Therefore, if a person is persistent in his deeds and seeks Allah's assistance in being obedient and, ref and seeking refuge in him from the accursed shaitan and is patient and exhibits extreme patience, then Allah the Almighty will give him success. Allah the Almighty says, O you who believe, be patient, be patient and excel in patience and remain steadfast and be careful of your duty to Allah that you may be successful. And we ask Allah the Almighty to best bless us all with sincerity in all of our deeds and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم